Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's a tailored life. My name is Taylor and in today's video you guys We are getting lots of cleaning and decluttering done Christmas is over the holidays are over my tree and all of my decorations are down But unfortunately I had not sent everything to storage and I also did not declutter as much as I would have liked before Christmas so the house just got like super messy super fast right after I just did my last like after Christmas clean with me So I need to get everything like cleaned up back in order. Happy 2024. Welcome to the new year I'm the type of person who at the beginning of the new year. I have like all of the motivation I want to clean and declutter every area of the house <laughs> Like even right now as I'm sitting here I'm thinking I am gonna make a list to kind of plan out how I'm gonna clean for the rest of the year just like areas of the house I want to declutter DIY project I want to work on I need to plan it all out because in January like January through March I have so many ideas so many things that I want to get done so if you're not subscribed definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you guys can come along with me on this spring winter cleaning decluttering journey <laughs> So first we are starting off in the dining room and family room area. If you're not new to my channel, you know this area is always a mess for us. This is where my family spends all of our time. But before I get started like working on the mess in those areas, what's going to help me is if I declutter my kids play area. And I just need to get a lot of these toys thrown out. I was going to try to donate a lot of toys. But I realized a lot of the things that I was getting rid of were kind of like damaged, broken pieces, beat up old. So I threw away a lot of toys you guys will see. I am going to fill up this huge black trash bag. Getting this all decluttered and cleaned out will definitely give me more space to put in some of the new toys that they got for Christmas in here. So I can get our family room space back because right now there are toys everywhere like every part of my house is covered in toys so I need to get this space back so that I can get the rest of my house back. So this is the huge bag of items that I'm getting rid of. I'm also going to be getting rid of the little bag of Legos. They're like building blocks, but I'm not going to throw those away because those were still in really good condition. And I still had the bag that they came in, so I decided to donate those. I am getting rid of this train. You guys, this train was so hard to get rid of because my younger son absolutely loves it. But we got him a similar toy for Christmas so that we could get rid of this one. 
And what's so hard about getting rid of toys, especially if they're not being donated and I can take them somewhere right away, is that my kids will see them. Um, our trash is like right on the side of our garage. So it's very hard to miss like if we're throwing big items away. So our kids often see the items that we're getting rid of. And normally with my older son, what I will do is even before I did this, I did have him go in with a bag and I told him to fill up a bag himself of things to get rid of. So it's easier with him because he definitely understands. My younger son is two and he does not always understand <laughs> that we need to declutter and get rid of things, especially items that he likes a lot. But because we had replaced it with a newer one, I was ready to let it go. Um, he saw it in the trash and was like trying to bring it in the house. And he was like, my train. So we definitely had to have a talk with him about just getting rid of things. So now that I've got that space like all decluttered, all cleaned out, organized, I'm going to go through the toys that they got for Christmas. Now my kids did get a lot of stuff for Christmas because grandparents did do a lot. Um, so what I normally do when they get this much stuff for Christmas is some items that I feel like maybe a little bit more mature for them. I may save those. A lot of activity items. Um, like games or like science projects, things like that, that we can work on together as a family. I put those away in the closet so that over the summer I can pull those out over winter break, spring break, times where we're all home together as a family. I like to just pull those out and if I put it with their regular toys, they may open them up or just start to play with them and they don't know how to play with them. So I keep those out of their reach so that my husband and I can help them with those. Um, and then there are some toys that they may like right now, but I'm just gonna put them away because we just have too many toys out. So what I did was I went through the toys that I noticed that they were really excited about when they opened up their gifts and I put those in the play area. And the other toys, I took those and I put those in our guest bedroom until I have time to organize and put them all away. So now that we've tackled a majority of the toys, I'm finally able to work on our family room area and this is a hot mess. I was working on laundry, but I'm not gonna fold the laundry right now because I really wanna focus on just getting areas of the house clean. I don't mind folding laundry, especially like if I'm watching a show. So I'm gonna save the laundry for this evening. When I like sit down to relax, I can just fold up these two loads of laundry really quickly. For right now, I'm just gonna move them out of this space and focus on getting this area like all clean and making it so that you can see <laughs> that there's a couch in here and if somebody comes in, they can definitely have a seat. So after I swept this area under the boys table, I realized how badly the floor needed to be mopped. I knew it needed to be mopped, but once I saw that, I was like, okay, I need to clean this right away. But I actually did not clean it right away because if you can see on the TV, my younger son is out and he's watching Mickey Mouse. My husband is walking around the house. He does a lot of work from home and my older son is here. So whenever everyone is home at the same time like this during the daytime, what I will normally do is just sweep up whatever I can 
get rid of as much trash as I can off the floor and once everyone goes to bed at night I will go back and mop the floors because if I try to mop while everyone is moving about the house it will just create an even bigger mess or someone will get hurt so I'm just gonna wait and do that until the evening time Now that we've got some order back in the family room and the dining room area, <laughs> we have another huge mess that's been waiting for us and that is the kitchen. The you guys, the kitchen is a disaster. There was so much mess going on in here because we've all been home and we, my husband has been grilling, I have been cooking. We, the boys had pee, it just was a lot. There was a lot of mess in here that needed to be cleaned up. And anytime the house just gets like super messy like this, I always don't know where to start with the mess and it just kind of gets worse. So I was so happy that I was finally like getting to this kitchen. This is all done in one day, but it just like slowly piled up and got really out of control. So I wanted to get it all taken care of before the end of the day. I avoided the kitchen when I first started cleaning just because there was so much mess. And a lot of times I will like to clean our family room area and our dining area in case there's any thing that the boys ate or my husband or myself ate that got left in there any dishes that may be in there I like to try and get those out of the way and get those in the sink so that I know that once I load the dishwasher or I wash the dishes all of the dishes in the house are clean there isn't anything like lingering or waiting for me to have to work on later so first I started off just by emptying out the dishwasher once I did that I loaded the dishwasher with a bunch of dishes that were in the sink now I was not able to fit everything into the dishwasher so I am going to hand wash a lot of dishes because normally sometimes I will take the route of loading the dishwasher, come back, wait till it's done, load the dishwasher again but the kitchen was just way too messy and I did not want to leave these dishes for the day at all so I decided I'm going to wash these dishes by hand just so that I know once I'm done with the dishes, I am done until it's time for me to cook again. And it's just not so much mess going on in here. Strangers again, again, again 
like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same like strangers again. So normally before I wipe down the stove and the countertops and things, I usually wash the dishes, but as I was putting the dishes away and everything that was on the stove, I just could not continue on without cleaning the stove. So I took a break first to pull out my pink stuff and my scrub daddy and give the stove top a really good scrub. There was so much like stuck on food and stuff like that. And like I said, I normally do this after I wash and put away all the dishes, but I just had to take a quick break and get this all cleaned up before I moved on so after I scrub this really well I'm just gonna leave it and let it sit because I don't have anything to wipe it off with normally I would wipe it off with like a cleaning rag and rinse it in the sink but I still have dishes in here so I'm gonna let that sit while I get the dishes that are in the sink together I need to clean out the sink so before I start washing dishes I'm going to give the sink a really good clean out and I'm going to use some of that same pink stuff that I was using on the stove top just to give the um, I'm sorry the sink a good scrub I always like to wash the sink before I wash dishes not just rinse it out like I like to actually like wash it and make sure that it's clean because I just feel like if the sink is dirty I can't really get the dishes very clean in a dirty sink so I'm gonna wash that out first and then I'm gonna go ahead and start washing these, dish these dishes saying dishes this many times this fast <laughs> is not for the week I'm gonna go ahead and get these washed and clean and put away so that I can move on to cleaning the counters and finishing off cleaning the stovetop I wanted to show you guys how a little bit of the pink stuff goes a long way. So I had this pan with a bunch of stuck on like grease stains. Um, I put it in the dishwasher and these stains did not come off. So I picked up my same scrub daddy that I was using to scrub with earlier and it still had a little bit of pink stuff re residue like stuck in it. I used this and it got this pan so clean so quickly. I feel like if I were to continue just trying to use my scrub brush and some regular dish soap, it would not come off, but it got this pan super clean really fast. So definitely if you have like any stuck on food or stains on your pots and pans, definitely give pink stuff a try with the scrub daddy.
So now that I've got all the dishes cleaned and put away, I have a load in the dishwasher that's still running, but the counters are clean. Everything is put away off the counters and where it, be where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to finally wipe down these counters. Now I do like to use like a daily multi-surface cleaner on the counters, but anytime it just gets messy like this, at least like once or twice a week, I will just put some really hot water in the sink and I will mix pine salt in with that hot water. And I will just use that to wipe the counters down. I don't know, to me, I just feel like it gets cleaner when I wipe it like this. <laughs> so I like to do this. It also makes the kitchen smell amazing. Like anytime I wipe it down with pine salt, it just smells like really fresh and clean again. And I'm really liking that right now, especially because I cannot mop the floors right now. When the kitchen is this messy, I always want to mop the floors, but I can't mop the floors right now because like I said, everyone is at home. So I'm just gonna have to do what I can until later this evening when I can mop the floors, but this definitely helps it smell a lot better right now. Sick and tired of seeing you in pain, your head's in a haze. Won't you lean on me? I'll catch you if you fall. So take a leap of faith. Your fixed ideas clouding up and mind. Don't we'll stop until common sense applies. The sun illuminates ahead. Need you to let go. So I'm all done cleaning and <laughs> you guys will see like when everyone is home and I'm cleaning, the clean does not last very long. Now it's not going to be as messy as it was again, definitely for sure not today. But as you can see, like my younger son, he's coming to where I am on his little ride on toy. That is the ride on toy that we replaced his train with that we got rid of. And as you can see in the family room area where I had just cleaned up, the boys had been on the couch with their blankets and things like that, which I don't mind. I'm not the type of mom who cleans up and is like, you can't come out of your room uh, for the rest of the day. I don't mind, especially like a minor mess that I can have them clean up after themselves. So now we are moving into my bedroom and my bedroom is also a disaster. Like I said, whenever the house gets this messy and I just don't even know where to start, like every area of the house just gets messy and out of control. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up in here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my sheets off. Um, that's because I needed to wash my sheets and I got rid of my extra set of sheets. So I need to get these washed, dried, and put back on my bed before the end of the day. Well, before it's time for us to go to bed. So I'm gonna hurry up before I start cleaning and put my comforter in the wash. And then after I do my comforter, I'm gonna do my sheets so that both of those can be clean for the new year. I did not get to finish like all of my laundry and have completely zero laundry for the new year. Let me know if you all do that. If you wash all of the laundry in your house by New Year's Eve, I usually try to have everything clean by New Year's Eve, but unfortunately I did not get it all finished. I did get most of it done, but I did not have it all finished. Um, I definitely tried and it's so funny because Recently, I was told that you're not supposed to wash on New Year's Day because you might wash someone out of your life. Something like that. I think that's what they told me. So let me know like all of the crazy New Year's traditions that you've heard or that you do yourself. Um, my family, I know we do black eyed peas on New Year's Day. We try to do collard greens. We did not have collard greens this year, but we did have our black eyed peas. Um, Recently, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about eating grapes under the table. Um, like I said, laundry. Well, I was always taught growing up that on New Year's Eve, your house should be really clean and you should have no laundry and you should have money in your pocket. And that however you go into the new year is how your year will go. So if your house is clean, you don't have dirty laundry and you have money in your pocket, your house will stay clean. <laughs> you won't fall behind on laundry and you will have money all year. You're also supposed to eat black eyed peas for, I think black eyed peas is for good luck. Collard greens is for money, like prosperity for the year. So let me know if you all have any traditions that your family does for New Year's or any 
thing that you believe is good luck or bad luck, things like that. Like I said, someone told me not to wash on New Year's Day. So let me know what you all think about when you think of like New Year's. And let me know if you guys are doing any New Year's resolutions this year. I feel like New Year's resolutions has started to kind of play out. Like I don't hear people talking about it as much. I remember being a kid in school and like teachers actually asking us like if we had any New Year's resolutions that we wanted to try and work on this year. I feel like because uh, vision boards have become more popular that people talk less about like resolutions and I feel like manifesting has become more popular too so people don't say it as much but let me know if you all do and what you guys are doing what did you guys do for the new year I'm now going to start cleaning up the boys bathroom and in their bathroom I'm also going to take down all of the Christmas decor so far at this point I had taken down all of the Christmas decor in the house except their bathroom I just was kind of waiting because I knew it needed to be cleaned and I needed to pull out their old bathroom decor well what I had in there before it's actually not that old I needed to pull that out so I just waited and I also just really enjoyed this bathroom decor this year I had never decorated the bathroom for Christmas before and I really enjoyed this, like the colors were just so fitting, I felt like for a kid's bathroom, it was super cute. So I did take my time like taking this down, but I am gonna go ahead, clean up in here, take down all of their decor and bring their like ocean shark theme back in here. Now I have been making plans to like redecorate, you know, like reset the house for the new year. Now their bathroom is definitely an area that I want to work on. So we painted their bathroom not too long ago to like this whitish gray colors on the walls. But their mirrors have been here since we moved into this house and I need to replace them. I've just been taking my time with replacing them because I still want to have like circular mirrors. But I want them to be bigger so that the boys can actually easily see themselves in the mirror right now where they're hanging in the shape my boys can't see themselves well my youngest he can't see himself at all but my older son he does come in here to get ready in the morning so I want to have I'm, I'm trying to come up with some ideas I've been looking on Pinterest a lot for bathroom mirrors in here just to one kind of make it look a little bit more modern these mirrors definitely look really old but I want to make it look more modern, but I also want a mirror that can go all the way down. So like when my older son is brushing his teeth in the morning, getting ready for school and like he goes into the bathroom to clean his face. I want him to be able to see his face <laughs> so that he could actually like clean it for real and not like what he'll do right now is he'll clean his face in the bathroom and he'll come out and I'll be like, okay, your face isn't clean. And he does have a mirror hanging in his room on his door. So he will usually like walk over and look into that mirror. I would like to just make that easier and get rid of that so definitely within the next few weeks I'm gonna replace their mirrors in here I just have to find exactly what I want to kind of make this bathroom a little bit more modern it does look really old because we do still have the old tile in here and the bathtub and the colors I feel like definitely tell the age of the home but like I said our, in our in a previous video our home is older but we love our home and we love the location of our home so I try to do what I can to not make it look super old. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be looking for mirrors. If you guys have any ideas on any type of mirrors that may flow well with what I have in here now, but also give it a little bit more of a modern touch and also a mirror that my kids can see themselves in. I am definitely open for it. Please let me know in the comments what you think I should do.
So now that I'm done in the boys bathroom, I'm going to come back and clean my master bathroom. Now my bathroom is very small, so I try to keep it pretty clean in here and put things away all the time. Sometimes I do leave things out because I do wake up pretty early in the morning while my husband is still asleep. So I will kind of just leave things where they are and come back and clean them up later. I know I talk about that a lot on my channel. So I'm going to quickly get it together in here and just have it all clean. So tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk guys bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way of how you dwell, I get it Oh, I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About your rich friends traveling Mercedes You're such a nice guy when you're not So tired of hearing all your stories So while I wait for my bathroom floor to dry before I can put my rugs back down, my sheets were done. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sheets back on the bed. I'm changing my younger son's sheets to his Mickey Mouse sheets and I'm putting his Christmas decor sheets back into our storage. And I'm going to put my sheets on my bed, but when I went to put my comforter on, I realized it was still damp. And normally what I'll do is I'll let it dry for about 30 minutes let it lay out and air dry but we were getting closer to the evening time and I knew we were going to be going to bed soon so while I was waiting for it to air dry I touched it again noticed that it still felt pretty wet so I put that back in the dryer and you guys I totally forgot to <laughs> record myself making the bed up because by the time that it was done in the dryer like I was going about my day and was ready to go to bed so I did not record myself like finally like making this up with the comforter but you guys will see I do make up my bed I, it's just the comforter is missing but also let me know any like bedroom decor ideas you guys have for me, especially since I've changed my furniture around because I do plan on making some changes in here really soon. I usually like to change up my bedding every season um, just to kind of flow with the season. So let me know if y'all have any ideas.
Is it just me who's fine? And now we are all done. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all next time. Bye.